Good morning, guys. I'm glad you're here this morning. Um, I'm Lori Winslow, and I am a <coughs> independent designer with Chalk Couture. Um, my channel or my page is called Rain or Shine Chalk Design. Um, thanks for joining me this morning. Um, I finally have some new transfers. I know these aren't my launch order. I finally broke down and um, a couple of things. I realized that a lot of the things I wanted <coughs> on launch day, launch day is when a new catalog um, comes out and we just had a new launch day uh, July 15th. <coughs> so on launch day all the designers and all of the customers um, of Chalk Couture know that there is a new catalog coming out and so everybody scrambles and wants to get to the new stuff. Um, <clears throat> so it's a really big day for the company. I just <clears throat> heard recently that on launch day Chalk Couture sold two million dollars in product. So that was a lot of stuff to um, to handle, to manage. And because of that huge uh, amount of volume, you know, my box got a little messed up. I didn't get my transfers in my box. They're working on it. They've assured me that they have my correction and they're working on getting that out. But when I looked back at what I had ordered, I realized that the other thing is on launch day, you only get 15 minutes um, to have your cart open because they don't want product sitting in somebody's cart and then if somebody never comes back to purchase it um, those items can't be purchased so it's kind of crazy and it's only on launch day that they do that <clears throat> but when you put things in your cart on launch day you have 15 minutes to purchase the items in your cart I didn't realize because this is my first launch day <clears throat> that things start coming out of your cart and so I was putting things in and I did see a little timer pop up, but I didn't realize that that meant, you know, my time was, I mean, I thought my time was close to expiring, not that it had expired. <clears throat> so anyway, long story short, um, I didn't get everything in my cart that I wanted. <clears throat> so when I went back, I realized this lovely, um, <clears throat> let's see what they call it, the forest leaves pattern. Um, this is absolutely one of my favorites. I love trees. I love leaves. So when I saw this, I knew I had to have it. Um, so this is something that I picked up. So I picked up a couple of things so that I would have some fall and Christmas things <clears throat> that I wanted while I'm waiting for that um, part of my order to get in. So we are going to work on my black canvas series. Um, I have two black canvases in my hallway, these two, and I made those on other lives. So if you haven't seen those, feel free to go back and do a replay. Sorry, this is going to be a little noisy. Do a replay on those. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> so I want to do another in that series. Um, and I'm going to use another black canvas. Um, it's just a 12 by 12 um, black canvas. Um, I ordered these online on Amazon. Um, they were a great price. And they were actually a better price than Joann's. Joann's is usually where I end up finding my canvases. And I don't think I could find any black canvases the day I, I popped in. So I went online and found a really good price for these. And the canvas itself is black. Um, so I had not used black canvas before I purchased these. Um, I had seen them used and really liked the contrast that you can get. Um, if you haven't seen this series, so I have done a sunflower and I've done this. Um, I will love you till the cows come home. Good morning, Lisa. Thanks for joining us. So I have these two um, so far, and I wanna make four all together. And I'm just kind of um, figuring it out as I go what I want to have on those canvases. Um, 
So this um, forest leaves pattern really caught my eye because I do love leaves and trees. So I want to do um, these right onto my black canvas. And um, yeah, I'm going to show you how to do that today. So I want to keep a pretty simple color palette right now. These, um, these two are pretty simple. Um, I've been kind of kicking around the idea of what exactly I want to do, how I want them to go together. Um, like I say, I don't want to introduce a ton of colors, um, but these are very bright, very distinct. This just has the white and this just has the yellow. So as at this moment, I'm still kind of kicking around the idea of exactly what I want to do to go with that. Um, but I definitely think that, you know, that bumblebee yellow um, for the leaves would be great. I think I could get away with the orange because we do have a little bit of orange in the sunflower um, ribbon. I'm not sure, to be honest, what I'm gonna do about ribbon for this. Um, if I want to keep that theme going with the black and white check. Um, I do have some other fall ribbon colors. Um, and I do have, I do have this just real simple black with white um, that would be maybe be good since it's gonna have more color. Uh, a little more color, not a lot. I don't wanna go crazy with my color, but I'm thinking that might be the ribbon that I use to go um, on it if I choose to do a ribbon. It really is kind of a work in progress. Um, I might even be able to pull in a little bit of red. No, I wouldn't do a lot, but maybe just do, um, maybe do kind of a messy technique on one of the leaves so that it, I just put a few colors and then I just work them together and then maybe do some plain leaves. I've been thinking about this for a while and I'm still at this indecisive stage. Um, but I still wanna hop in and, and go for it. Um, <clears throat> on this canvas, I did kind of a subtle, um, you might have to go back and see, I don't know if I can get the light to shine. Uh, I did a subtle, some words um, in some different spots in black. Um, I still really like that. I think it's pretty cool that those are kind of hidden on there. All right, well, let's go ahead and give this a try. <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out which part of the leaves I want. And if I want it to cover the whole canvas or if I want to do kind of a partial. I'm just a hot mess this morning, guys, I, of indecisiveness. <clears throat> Partly just because I love all the leaves and it's hard for me to decide which to put in and which to leave out. Leave out, right? And I want them to go over the edge because I want it to look like the sunflowers. <clears throat> all right, so this is a new transfer, so it's gonna be pretty sticky. Uh, I'm going to put a little bit of it down on the canvas and see how sticky it is. Um, sometimes canvases are like just like fabric and you don't need to um, fuzz and other times no it seems like it'll be fine other times canvases can be really um, slick and the adhesive um, is hard to pull off but this looks like it's gonna be um, pretty good as far as adhesion. It's got a good grip, but it's not crazy sticky. I'm gonna try to line this up so that the leaves are going right to the edge or, or just right off the side um, so that it mimics that sunflower a little bit. Trying to get them to look like they belong together. This 
Sorry, that adjusting period is kind of boring to watch. And I'm going to try to leave the backer on this a little bit if I can. I uh, might not be able to. I think it's going to take most of it. So this transfer is 18 inches by 18 inches. It's kind of a whopper. Um, so handling it, um, just have to be patient. Not, not get in too much of a hurry, which I'm trying to do because I don't want to bore you guys watching me get this on and off the canvas a hundred times. But the setup is the deal with Chalk Couture, because once you're set up, the chalking goes quickly, or it can go quickly, and that's good. Okay, I think I'm getting there, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Now if you're hopping in with us this morning, make sure you say hi. Um, I appreciate you guys hopping on. What do you guys have going on today? Tuesday. We're into August now. Can you believe that we're into August? Just my brain thinks that's crazy. My brain can't imagine that it's August. Although everything else has gone so slow in this year, <laughs> I think we can all agree on that. I'm just going to give all of those a little squirt of water. Um, to my eye, they look a little bit like they could use a little water. So our chalk paste is made from chalk, so it tends to be a little bit dry. Um, you want your chalk to have a consistency of a yogurt. so. Um, and not a Greek yogurt, not that dry yogurt, but actual um, Yo Play, you know, Dannon, that creamy, smooth kind of yogurt. Um, a chalk paste that is exactly the right consistency will actually kind of run in a bead off, and you can see this is not. It's a little bit dry. As you play with your chalks, you kind of learn what's an acceptable level of dry. At least say you're working. Ugh, sorry. Yeah. I have a, I was supposed to have a meeting this week, but I was able to, we have optional, well not optional, it's a meeting we have to do, but we got to choose what day. It's an online virtual meeting so we uh, we get to choose which of the days we want to do it so I was gonna do it this week and then I pushed it off because uh, good morning Shelly I pushed the meeting off to a different date because I ended up having a family some family plans Um, Lisa, let me think about that fuzzing cloth question. I don't think there's one in the kit. Um, I'll get you a list of what comes in the designer kit, okay? And the designer kit changes a little bit. Um, they update, you know, they update the transfers that come with it. Um, so I will get you a list so that you know what comes in it. Um, oops splashing stuff now um, the fuzzing cloth isn't necessary I will tell you it is nice to have um, and it it's not that expensive I'm trying to remember now how much they cost um, but it's definitely a tool that you would use you know every time just about every time you do chalking um, obviously like today I didn't use it because I'm using basically a fabric yeah Lisa if I can um, I will see if I can tag you um, they I'll see actually on Thursdays they usually have a um, an online I'll see if it's happening this Thursday 
They have an online meeting for people who are interested in checking out um, being a, de a designer. And they just kind of go through all the information and um, I'll see if they're having one of those. And if they are, I'll invite you so that you can check it out. There's no commitment necessary or anything like that. It's just they try to get information to people who are interested. Okay, here we go. So again, this, I want this canvas to go right along with this series. So I'm trying to figure out how I want this to look so that it kind of um, mimics the simplicity of these. So I'm thinking maybe I'll do this big leaf here, maybe this one here. I like this little oak leaf. I want it to kind of be simple. One, two, three, four. Maybe this one going off. One. Oh well, we're gonna dive in. <laughs> I don't want you guys having to sit while I think for too long. So I know I want to have the yellow be part of it, but I don't necessarily want it to be all of the colors. I think I'm going to do this one in a, a multiple color. So I'm going to put a little bit of yellow here and there. So we call this the messy technique because it, you, uh, you blend and you've probably seen me do this on different things. You just blend the colors. As much or as little as you want. A little bit tricky. The leaves are a little bit close to each other and I don't want to get that on a different leaf because I really don't want to use all of the leaves. I want them to I just want to have a few for the look I'm going for. So as you can see, I'm just um, moving that color around on the canvas. And my leaves are going to have kind of a, hopefully a fall um, look to them because they have taken on a little bit of color. Like I said, I love trees and I love leaves. So when I saw this transfer, I knew it had to be in my collection of transfers. Looks like I need a little bit more. Didn't want to overdo. Gonna have night a lot of yellow. So with my missing order, I just want you guys to know that there is an online chat component um, to Chalk Couture, and I've been able to go on and chat with somebody. I checked on my order last week, and I checked on it again this week, and she said, "Yeah, it's in the system." You know they're working on it um, like I said they had a two million dollar launch day um, which is the biggest ever um, the company is three years old and they've tried to be very responsible in how how much um, new merchandise they put out they don't want to have too much they don't want to have not enough um, so two million dollars is quite a launch day I can't even fathom that. Um, so the fact that my order got a little messed up, um, you know, I understand. It's going to happen. So I'm just trying to be patient, and, and I know they're working on it. 
but it was nice to be able to talk to a person and not just talk to, um, you know, leave a message with an online, I hope somebody's actually monitoring this kind of a thing. So that made me feel good. All right, let's take a quick little peek at that. Ooh, that's really pretty. I hope you guys can see that detail that I'm seeing. That is just so pretty, so crisp. Make sure I've got this leaf down here through the stem, yeah. All right, I'm gonna lift this up a little bit so that I can let that dry because I don't want that chalk to dry inside my transfer. So I'm gonna let that go for just a sec. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Um, I know Lisa's looking at the options of becoming a designer because of the great savings um, that you have as a designer. Um, if you're looking to start, check out Chalk Couture and um, you wanna find an affordable way to do it. Um, our little kits are a great way to do that. In your kit, you would get a surface and a transfer and some chalk and a tool. So that the kits are about $20. So they're a very affordable way to try out Chalk Couture uh, and just see if you really like it. See if it's actually as easy as you, you know, it looks on the camera. I promise you it is. Um, but it's a great way to just try it out um, without a lot of risk. I know Shelly's daughter, I know she bought one for her daughter for her birthday for her to try. And, um, and she said it was easy and um, my friend came over a couple of weeks ago. Um, she's been watching and she tried it and she was like, it is easy. It's as easy as you said it was. So I just like to have that kind of um, confirmation for you guys that it's not a gimmick. Um, it really is this easy. I'm gonna dry this real quick, make sure it's ready to go. definitely here as your help so if you have if you order something or if your product's not working like you want it to um, I'm definitely I would ha be happy to be on a you know a FaceTime call or something like that so that we could figure out what's going on together um, I'd be happy to be a helper like that all right <laughs> I almost did it again um, I pulled it back and you have to be careful of that paint. Totally forgot about the paste on the back side of this and it got a little bit, but I don't think it went through, which it would, I would probably just go ahead and chalk that leaf if I thought it was going to go through, if it went through. All right, here we go. So we've got that leaf. I kind of like this leaf because it's coming off the edge over here and I think I want to just do it in... I think I want to do it in yellow just so that it brings ties these leaves kind of in with back with this monochrome yellow yellow is my favorite color so if you're like I don't know why she uses so much yellow um, that would be why and it's also an accent color in my house of course so <clears throat> So when I demonstrate things, I'm definitely showing you my taste and what I like. Um, and the great thing about Chalk Couture is of course that you can make it yours. You get to choose the colors, you get to choose the design. Um, 
which is why I think it's so popular. Because it does come in a kit format, but it's very much something you can do with your individual taste. Okay, so that didn't take as long because I didn't do all the modeling. So I'm almost thinking I might pick this up and move it. I'm trying to decide if I want the leaves to be where they are on the print. Let's, let's look, pull this one up and take a look at it. Oh yeah, I like that. I like those together. Well, I think I will do this one where it sits. Um, I staged the sunflowers here, but I kind of like the idea that it will be a little more, uh, a little less, less in my control. Um, so maybe having these a little less in my control is probably a good thing. So let's see, I've got that yellow one, I've got that color one. I think I'll maybe do this one in orange. Orange, orange it is. And birthday.